Welcome back, Saber fans. Tony here from Ron Sabers, and today another install review for you. If you're new to the channel, I do install, repair, and review these sabers, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I also have a website, ronsabers.com, where you can find my finished products and sound fonts. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the link in the description below. So here we have a um, Graflex shop, Graflex. This customer here has put a lot of work into it initially. Um, he put the Mylar tape and the um, blade holder from the Graflex shop. We also removed the beer tab and a little spindle there, and basically wanted it installed with Profi, of course. So um, this saber and another saber I'd previously done um, was also a Graflex. Um, that one was from a Roman Props with a KR blade holder. I made a custom chassis that uh, is adaptable for both the um, Graflex uh, blade holder, uh, graphic shop blade holder, and the KR blade holder. So very sturdy, very nice. Has a removable battery system, negative and positive. You can uh, hold a Profi 2.2 board, running Profi OS 7.7, .7, and of course it has a 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost base speaker. So very loud, very nice. Um, this customer here wanted just to tell Empire Strikes Back, um, which is just um, like three fonts basically, or three different versions of one font, um, and then I end up putting on a few extras on there just to fully tell the Graflex kind of story. So, um, without further ado, let's put in a blade and show you off the fonts. Alright, so we'll be done with the 27 inch blade here in the studio. This saber will come with a 34 inch blade, so um, very nice, has a decent amount of blade depth. Um, your retention screw is this flathead here, um, which is decently nice. Um, this saber has multiple features, so it'll have twist on and twist off. Um, the sound might be a bit muffled. There is sound venting for the D-ring and the uh, little rivets. It's still a bit muffled, I'd say. Accents. So this is featuring FET263's one-button system, so you just tap for blasters. I'm just, you know, swing for smooth swing. Clash, clashes, hold the button, and clash for lockup. There's a positive angle of the blade. For force effects, you just want to hold for two seconds and let go. This has a few uh, force effects and stuff that I had made for uh, the Empire Strikes Back font. This font is ESB Graphlex V2 by Kyberphonic. It has tons of quotes on there, tons of tracks. Um, this one is the uh, Best Bin, or not Best Bin, uh, Hoth version. You can a quote player, you want to tilt the blade down and do the same thing. Hold for two seconds and let go. But yeah, different force effects and quotes on here. This has, of course, twist on and twist off. This has a track on there. This is hyperspace. This also have a track player on there. You can tilt your blade horizontal. You go through the entirety, first part of the uh, film. Click to select. And you can turn your saber. This will have the uh, force grab from when he's in the cave, which is very nice. Next up. I'm not looking for a friend. I'm looking for a Jedi Master. This is the Dagobah version that I've made. Same font, basically, except different force effects. Oh, hey, put your weapon. I mean you no harm. I am wondering, why are you here? Oh, hey, put your weapon. I'm looking I mean you no harm. There are force effects on there as well. This has different quote players on there or track players on there as well. I don't think so. It has a uh, loop train on Negama. Which is ambience. One of these has dialogue in there with Yoda, which is really cool. I think this is it. Very long. Run! Yes, a Jedi strength flows from the force, but beware of the dark side. Right? Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I think that's it for this one. Next up. No, I am your father. This is the Bespin version of the sound font. It has the uh, snap hiss ignition or the special edition ignitions compared to the original trilogy ignitions with the first two versions. It 
This has a track on there as well. Luke versus Vader track, as well as a track player you can go through. But yeah. Next up. I suggest you try it again, Luke. This time, let go your conscious self and act on instinct. This is a New Hope Graflex V2 by Kyrophonic. This is the training version. Now, um, because it's a Graflex, I thought just instead of having just three Empire Strikes Back fonts on there, I wanted to, uh, Luke's progression with this saber, and so we have go back to now uh, New Hope. And so, it's on a light blue blade style on there. Damn it, quotes. I call it luck. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. I forgot how long these quotes are. I see your point, sir. I suggest a new strategy, Art. Let the Wookiee win. Remember, a Jedi can feel the Force flowing through him. There's also have a uh, training track on there. We have ambience. Yeah. This is very nice. Next up. What is it? Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. This is the Graflex version of A New Hope Graflex. Same blade style. Different blasters, of course, these are Imperial. Different quotes and stuff. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. You also have multi-blast and uh, lightning block. To do multi-blast, you just want to hold and swing the saber. Get that multi-blast begin sound, you can just swing your saber. Tap it, tap once more. You get one more blast. If you want to do lightning block, it's double tap and hold. Right here. For color changing, you want to tap four times, and then you can hold down to lock it in. And so, yeah. This also has the uh, force team on there as the track. But yeah. Next up. And last but not least, you have your passive battery monitor, which fades from green to red, depending on the battery voltage, and of course, the party blade. So that includes the install from the Graflex shop, uh, Graflex, in Empire Strikes Back configuration. Of course, I hope you enjoyed the video. If the customer enjoys the saber, have a wonderful day, and may the force be with you.